Hey, this is Anita. I need a hit. Yeah. Yeah, I know you're wondering. Back already? Yeah, I'm back already. I got business to take care of. First of all, a lot of people wondering if I'm an anti-masker. Well, let's put it this way. You have any idea how hard it is to smoke? when you got a mask on. I got a lot of masks with a lot of holes in them. So yeah, let's just leave it at that. Number two, is there anything good about the lockdown? I mean, this whole social distancing thing? Yeah, there's something good about it. I haven't had to clean my apartment in like five months. Because my social worker is doing phone visits, so I'm off the hook. Here's another thing that's good about the lockdown. I don't have to do community service. Because, yeah, they made me do community service with the homeless. And the first day I went to do my community service, one of the volunteers sat down next to me and asked me how long I'd been homeless. So, yeah, you know, screw that. Anyway, second order of the day. I know a lot of you guys really want a four-month calendar. I'm actually really encouraged to see how many people out there don't have their shit together. You know, it's not just me. It's me and all you guys. Uh, it's great. We can all have not have our shit together together. And this is why I bring you the Anita hit four month calendar just for the last four months of the year I've been working hard on it I got some pictures here um, this is the cover and then it's got to have some stuff written on it kind of like this and then that <clears throat> this is for September lucky for us it's not back to school Man, I do not miss being a kid. Oh, trust me. Thank God I don't have to go to school anymore. A total fucking waste of time. And then next we got the month of October, which is basically dressed like a slut month. Ever notice how all those Halloween costumes are sexy this, sexy that? Yeah. I noticed the theme if you know what I mean. Then we got November, which is the month that we rather just forget about altogether. So in honor of November, I made this picture. That's me with all my pills, because I'm going to need them in November, if you know what I mean. And then this is uh, this representing December holiday season going out with the bang if you know what I mean and it comes with actual calendar stuff like it's not just pictures it's got a calendar on it that's why it's a four month calendar and uh, you know I got some important days on there like you know turkey day and labor day and veterans day and stuff like that you know so that's it so for my calendar you guys I hope you're on Facebook because, I mean, I, 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 I do a lot of hustling, but I'm not that good at hustling on the Internet. And what was I going to do, set up an eBay account? So, I hope you're on Facebook. Go on my Anita Hit official uh, Facebook page. I'll give you the link. And, uh, you know, hit me up if you want a calendar, and then, you know, we'll hook something up. Or, if you're on Sonia's Patreon, send her a message, and she'll hook you up. If not, I don't know. We'll have to figure something out. I don't know. Maybe I'll just give you my email address or whatever. So, okay. So, I'm really glad that a bunch of you guys want this calendar. I'm warning you. It's going to be a real shit calendar. Because I know you fuckers are broke. And you don't want to spend 30 bucks on a freaking calendar. Because it's going to be the printing and then the mailing, you know. I mean, 
the whole point here is to not get ripped off. So I'm going to make sure you don't get ripped off, but um, just a heads up, it's probably going to be a real shit calendar. But anyway. Okay, the other thing was... Some people had suggested that I should start narrating audiobooks. And uh, I think that's not a bad idea. So I was looking around to see what could I narrate. And I'll narrate something for you right now. Keep you entertained for the next three minutes. And I turns out I don't have a lot of, you know, classical literature in my house. I just have stuff like the Garden Plant Encyclopedia. I'm not really sure why I have this because I don't have a garden but I probably picked it up in the dumpster because I like free stuff so I'm gonna read something to you you're gonna learn something about trees trees for large gardens choosing a large tree which can obviously be grown only in a large garden is no simple matter only a few trees are suitable for any particular spot regardless of the preferences of the owner of the property the life expectation of the average tree is a hundred years and far less time too large a tree can become a problem in a garden and may need to be cut down prematurely there are other reasons why such drastic action may unfortunately be necessary. The roots of the tree may have dislodged paving. The type of soil may be unsuitable for the species. Or a tree sensitive to wind may have been planted in a coastal area and exposed to gales. A lot of money can be wasted through such mistakes. The aim of this chapter is to help you make a preliminary selection from a huge variety available. Good professional advice, however, in making the final decision is almost indispensable. I'll leave you with that for now. And I got one other thing. This is important too. This is from Manners, Culture, and Dress. This is a really old book. As it was dedicated to Grace on her 15th birthday, October 7th, 1890, from her mother. So I guess they're both dead by now. So yeah, this is a really old book on how to act like a lady. Yeah, I don't have a lot of the classics and all that shit, but I got a huge collection of etiquette books. I know. You're wondering, Anita, it's not like you're the pro at etiquette, so why do you have all these etiquette books? Well, that's exactly why, because I tried to learn how to act like a lady, bought the whole library, still couldn't do it. But I still got the books, and they're pretty interesting. Uh, this is about dinner parties and balls. The cloakroom. A room appropriate for the purpose and furnished with cloak pins to hang up the shawls and other dresses of the ladies is almost indispensable. Domestics should also be there to aid them in taking off and putting on their outside garments. When to arrive? We are not obliged to go exactly at the appointed time. It is even fashionable to go an hour later. Lucky for me. Married ladies are accompanied by their husbands, unmarried ones by their mother, or by an escort. I know it's kind of shocking. I guess they were a little more liberal than we thought. What the hell is a helicopter doing outside at this time of night? Quit spying on me. I'm not doing anything. I'm just reading my old etiquette books from 1890. <clears throat> Refusing to dance. 
A lady cannot refuse the invitation of a gentleman to dance unless she has already accepted that of another, for she would be guilty of an incivility which might occasion trouble. She would, moreover, seem to show contempt for him who she refused, and would expose herself to receive in secret an ill compliment from the mistress of the house. So, watch out for that. Giving a reason not to dance. When a young lady declines dancing with a gentleman, it is her duty to give him a reason why. Although, some thoughtless ones do not. No matter how frivolous it may be, it is simply an act of courtesy to offer him an excuse. While, on the other hand, no gentleman ought so far to compromise his self-respect as to take the slightest offense at seeing a lady by whom he has just been refused dance immediately after him with someone else. So, yeah, there's a lot of things we could learn from the old books from the old days, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> and that's it. Yeah.